and this does apply to the Mark V as well. We're going to take the B-pillar brace, and this is a painted one, and you recognize it by some of the holes uh, and the pierces and rivet holes around the outside edge. This is a big part of the car. This is the brace that reinforces the whole B-pillar area and transfers the load to the bed so that the car remains a very strong unibody-based uh, car. So this is the trick uh, as far as uh, making the car. One piece, uh, we pre-assembled the bed in the last installment, so we're going to be able to, remember this still loosely fits, there's nothing really tightened down. You're basically going to fit, you're basically going to fit this leading edge and this curved edge down at the bottom into the curved edge and the leading edge of the B-pillar. So I come in from the bottom, you know, wedge it between, you see this little flap here, we're going we're to be going flat up against it. And in this particular case, I'm going to make sure the gap here looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this gap looking good. I'm going to take a rivet here and just go through the 3 16 hole at the bottom, which I drilled. And I'm just going to grab this down here with a vice grip. So there, it still moves a little bit, but I just have one rivet holding it together. If you were doing this for the first time, these would be just pierces. So you would clamp this thing where you like the gap. You know, get those, get the, get the gap on the front and rear edge. You know, get that where you like it. I'm going to hold this right here. And then the key is to push. See how this sticks out at the top? You're going to push this in to make sure the gap is good at the top as well. So now that I have just two vice grips holding it, I'm going to look at the gap. And, you know, plus or minus a sixteenth or an eighth, no big deal. When I push this down, does it line up well? And this one does. So where I have this positioned, is exactly where I want to be. So I'll chase a couple of holes here, and I'll just slide another rivet in place here. Grab it. And just the, the rivets here, in this case, are here just to hold it in place. And so when you position one or two rivets on the bottom flat side, we know the top lines up when we push it in, we're clamped, and now we can drill the holes that are already labeled, you know, already uh, uh, you know, marked off on the B-pillar brace. We're going to do that at the end. We're going to drill these holes. When everything's tightened down, we're going to drill these, put a bolt through there, and hold it in place. For right now, I've got a rivet here, a rivet here, and I'll freeze this spot. Then we'll push the B-pillar brace in later at the top. And that's it. So we're going to pull a rivet here, pull a rivet here, a couple of clamps, do that left to right. And now you've got a loosely assembled bed and B-pillar assembly. Everything still wiggles a little bit, but now you can begin your assembly of the tailgate to make sure we are completely 90 degrees and straight at the tailgate.